Welcome to the fifth video of the Apache BIM series. In this video, we will add a new step, which is our transformation step. And this step will help us to modify our incoming data. So as a first step, we will update our repository with the branch feature 1.1 textile read write transform write because this is the branch where we will see the updated code. So let's open our GitHub desktop and over here from the current branch, we will switch from this branch to our new branch where we already have all the code. So let's click on that and this one got switched. For your case, you might have to click some OK and other stuff. The better way to actually click on the fetch origin, which will make sure we have all the latest let us code there so good so now we have all the code here so if you want to see what are the changes that is being made from this branch from the previous one the easiest way is to actually create a preview pull request and then if you click on that it will open it over here and then you can select our previous branch over here so this will show all the changes what is being done so I did some refactoring that is not important but the main changes are actually that is in the POM file I update the version number I change the name of the artifact which is not that important uh, I added I refactored the uh, options class name from options to text IO option this is uh, not so important uh, this one I added a new step is called transformation we will go through this thing and then in our main pipeline which was earlier called a streaming pipeline i renamed this thing to textile pipeline we added a new x step that we will go through actually so cool let's open the id and go through the code so as you can see we have those two steps are there the first step we're calling it extract the last step is we're going to need load and now we introduce a new step which we're calling transform so as i found the first step we're reading it from that public bucket and this is going to be converted into a p collection of a string so p collection is kind of like a, you can consider this thing as a list so basically it's, it's, it's going to hold a list of a string where is gonna be each line so each so from this file each line is gonna be actually stored in a p collection of strings so kind of a list of a string right and then after we got this one we actually on top of that we we call our next step and on that we are actually calling a pardo operation and we are actually initiating another class we'll go what's happening inside the class and this one this one will also give an output which is a p collection string but this is this will do some transformation and let's have a look on that so power do of of takes actually a do do fn do fn it takes a do fn uh, so you can actually check apache beams uh, uh, documentation to get more idea about do fn uh, so i'll go inside this class which is transformation so transformation is actually extending do fn and it's taking a string and it will return a string so this is important so it can it will take string and it will return a, a string as well so when you actually extend do fn basically you have to uh, overwrite a process element this this actually this method this method will actually do all the processing so here you can see when you are overriding this 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 method it actually takes a process context c this one contains the data actually so you can see c dot element so by calling c dot element we are getting that line that whole string line and what we're doing here we are actually converting that line into uppercase so whatever the content it will all of the character will be uppercase and then we are saving it into the line again and then here this c dot output and then we are passing this updated line over here so what's happening we're getting this line then we're making it uppercase and then we're sending it back so the c output we will actually send it back so this is also a string 
and that we will get back over here as a p collection of a string so all of the line got actually uppercased right and then we will save this thing which is the transform data so we're applying on uh, applying on the transform data again and we're writing this file into our into a file called transformed output.txt so that is how we are adding a new step to update our input and then we're saving it now we will build and deploy this template into gcp and then see how it works so to build and deploy as usual we will at first open and command prompt and do authentication to our gcloud by typing gcloud auth login and this will give us this url what we're gonna copy and open our browser paste it and then we'll sign in and allow it you might not need to do it all the time but if you are restarting your laptop then yeah this is the mandatory step so cool so we are now logged in now we have to build our project so we are in the root folder so we build uh, we have all of our code saved now we do maven clean install this will build the whole project okay so the maven build is done and as it has done successfully it should have created a jar file let's have a look inside the yes in the target directory we have the pipeline dot one dot one dot zero so we updated the version number to one one dot zero that's why it got updated and we also update the artifact id so that's why the whole name got changed so now we're gonna actually run the build command for the template so i have actually copied it this thing earlier over here so the build commerce build command is exactly same as we see this is a build command with the name of the template then the there is a path of the artifact which is also same this java is also same java 11 is our base image it's also same on the jar file the name of the uh, name of the jar got updated so i have updated this one so it's going to be pipeline 1.1.0 and uh, the main class got also changed because we have defected the code so i updated the path of the main class so cool so now we're gonna copy this thing and go to our console and paste it and run okay so the build is done so as the build is done then we should see the artifact is there so let's open our gcloud console and let's check it cool so it says it just got created so we're good so now we're gonna actually run our template so let's go back to here so as usual we're gonna actually use the flex template to run our uh, on the template what we just created we're gonna copy this thing and then open our console paste it let's see so the command got executed now if we go to the console and go to data flow jobs so this one got queued it's called data pipeline if you open that then when this thing is done then we will see the graph actually okay so the pipeline ran and as you can see it got successful we have an extract which actually got processed like 5525 elements it does the same amount of transformation and it also load everything on the output file so let's have a look on our storage bucket So we have this bucket and inside the data flow so this was our previous output or if you remember so this was basically just copying it from the source and putting in putting in into the destination so this is actually the exactly same file as the source so if we have a look on this file this file you can see it has a mix of 
capital letter and small letter everything is here okay so now if we go back to our folder so this is our transform output so now if we open this then we can see all of our text is capitalized everything so it got properly transformed that's the end of this video thank you